Whether you're an entrepreneur or a large corporation, financial corporation, everyone is looking to innovate and be creative in the knowledge economy. How do you do that? I believe that a business or corporation has to let it happen organically and create the conditions by which it can occur. And one of them is to expose employees to the great works of innovation and creativity in the past. I've looked at Leonardo's notebooks. You look at the way Leonardo approached the world with boundless curiosity, observation, the way he used creative processes to solve problems. We look at challenges that artists have faced. John Milton, before he wrote Paradise Lost, started to suffer from the loss of his eyesight. How did he handle this great challenge? Dante, before he wrote his Divine Comedy, went into exile. He had been a leading poet and politician. He spent the last 20 years of his life roaming around Italy, and yet at the same time, he managed to leave this gift to humanity, the Divine Comedy. What are the conditions in which creativity can thrive? What are some of the challenges great artists and thinkers of the past have used their creativity to overcome. And what do we learn from their processes? Creativity has to involve some sort of risk laying something on the line. And with that comes a willingness to fail. Van Gogh, a great artist, he wasn't recognized in his lifetime. That didn't keep him from doing his work, from pursuing his vision. You almost have to have a willingness to fail and to learn how to manage failure. We tend to focus on the great work, but what I try to do is take people behind the great work and see how independent of the result, they created, approached innovations and creativity that was going to make their vision a reality at all costs. And I think every business person can learn from that.